First day of school for a five-year-old kindergartner in East Meadow. But instead of celebrating a milestone, the day turned into a nightmare. The boy's father, Rafael Mangual, says the child was dropped off alone more than two miles from his daycare center. When the bus driver left, my son realized he was alone and just decided to try to walk home, even though he didn't know his way around, um, and was found by a good Samaritan wandering lo- along a busy avenue. Many parents we talk to about the incident say they're horrified. It's scary because I have a seven-year-old also, and she's two. She'll, she'll be off to school soon enough. And, you know, that's scary that you're waiting for your kid to come home and they don't get off the bus. I don't even have words for that. I mean, yeah. th- something like that. I would. How does something like that even happen? I mean, I'm lucky in the sense that, both in the sense that nothing happened to him. Newsday's Robert Brodsky says other parents also have brought up safety concerns when it comes to Guardian bus company drivers. Parents have been raising concerns about the Guardian bus company uh, and recent incidents involving drivers, whether it is drivers that have involved in crashes hitting pedestrians, hitting motor vehicles, hitting um, homes, uh, blowing through stop signs. But Guardian insists they're safe, and in a statement, Guardian Bus Company says the driver was removed from the route and disciplined at a formal union hearing and cannot discuss the particulars of this incident with anyone but the school district. Parents are now circulating a petition calling for increased state oversight of Guardian and discipline for its drivers. This is a serious thing, you know. Um, you know, we're not talking about a lost backpack or, you know, a lost valuable on on a bus. We're talking about a, a five-year-old human being. Drew Scott, Newsday TV.